Hey everyone, here is a question on exercise 3.4, fifth question. The chapter is playing with numbers of class 6. The question is, which of the following numbers are co-prime? Now, co-prime numbers means uh, when the common factor between the two given number or three given number is 1. Then we're going to say that the numbers are co-prime. So, we have to find out the factors of each given number. And if the common factor is 1, only 1, no other number, then we're going to call them as co-prime. So let's start with the first question. So we want to find out the factors of 18. So factors. Factors means in which all table 18 goes. All the are the factors. So factors of 18 will be. It goes in one table. It goes in. Uh, it's even number. So it goes in two table also. It goes in three. It doesn't go in four, five. It goes in six. Then it goes in. 8 no it doesn't go in 8 it goes in 9 table and directly after 9 it goes in 18 table okay then next is factors of 35 now 35 goes only in a few table that is 1 and since it, the number end with 5 it goes in 5 table we know 5 7 is a 35 right it goes in 7 table and after 7 it directly goes in 35 table it doesn't go in any other table so if you see here the common factor you don't find any number common here which are present here and here except one one is present in this both so we got the common factor as one and therefore we can say only one is a common factor right so therefore we can say 18 and 35 are co-prime um, that is because the common factor is only one that's why then the next question is 15 and 37 so let me raise this here so factors of this is second question factors of 15 now 15 goes only in a one table then three table and five table it goes directly in 15 table now 37 is a prime number it doesn't go in any table so factors of 37 will be 1 and 37 that is 1 and the number itself it doesn't go in any other table so you can see the common factor is 1 since common factor cf is nothing but common factor is 1 so therefore we can say 15 and 37 are co-prime now same if you have to check for the other numbers next we have here we have is 30 and 315 definitely they are not co-prime i'll tell you why we don't have to find out uh, all the factors i'll tell you why I'm not going to find out all the factors. Let me raise this part. For this particular question, you can see the number is ending with the 0 and then f uh, and the other number is ending with 5. So definitely it goes in 5 table. So they have a one common fact, one extra factor which is 5, right? So right, let me write down the here C. So factors of 30 will be, it goes in 1 table, 2 table, 3, then 5, then 6, then 10. Then it goes directly in third. It goes in fifteen table. Fifteen to the thirty, and directly in thirty table. Now four hundred fifteen. And uh, now it's very big number. It's very difficult for you to find out all the numbers, right? But you can write down the few numbers where it, it, it where it goes. Like it goes in one table. It also goes in five table because the num any number which end with five always go in five table. Like five any number which go, uh, end with five or zero goes in five table so it definitely goes in five table and i'm not finding out the other tables other factors here because our question is to find out if they are co-prime or not so i'm not adding all the factors of 415 i'll just directly add on 415 i'm stopping here because i got one extra factor which is common which is five here so so since common factor are there are many common factors. There, there's only one and five are the common factors here. So five is extra one factor here. If one is only the common factor, then we can say they are co-prime. But I'm getting another co common factor here. This means they are not a co-prime. Co so therefore, thirty and four hundred fifteen are not co-prime because we have another factor, common factor here. Then next question. 17 and 68 okay so we're going to write on the factors of 17 and 68 
this is problem d factors of 17 now 17 is a prime number it doesn't go in any other table except one and the number itself which is 17 and next we have here is 68 now 68 has a many factors so like one it has a two it goes in two table and uh, it goes in a four table and it goes in 17 table also and then it goes in 34 table it goes in 68 table right now you can see that it goes in 17 table also so we got two common factor one is one and the other one is 17 so we can write down here since common factors are 1 and 17 so we got 17 another common factor which means they are not co-prime co so therefore 17 and 68 are not co-prime that's it okay then the next question 216 and 215 so let me erase this part this is problem E so first 216 now this is even number so definitely every number goes in one table so one will be the common factor every time then it goes in one table two table there are many factor three four and then uh, like it goes in it doesn't go in five table and it goes in uh, six table eight table then nine table it goes in uh, 12 18 and then so on I'm not adding all the factors here and then 216 I'm going to tell you why I'm not adding all the factors they are actually co-prime why they're co-prime because 215 goes in few table like it goes in one table it goes in five table because number ends with five and then it goes in another table which is 43 and up after that it goes in 215 now why I have not written all the factors of 216 is because 216 is an even number and 215 is an odd number if you look at the factors here 1 5 43 and 215 so 1 and 5 definitely are not the factors of 216 right 216 uh, factors will be mostly a uh, even number it, I'm not saying they will, there will be no odd number there will be odd numbers also but definitely 5 is not a factor of 216 yes and 43 is a, a odd number like it doesn't go in uh, this table like it uh, 216 doesn't go in a 43 also so from here we can say that these two numbers are co-prime so since common factors will be 1 so therefore we can say 216 and 215 are co-prime all right so the last question is 81 and 16 now this numbers are also co-prime so let us first find out the co um, common factors here so this is the last question so factors of 81 will be it goes in one table it doesn't go in two it goes in three table it doesn't go in four five six seven no eight no it goes in nine table nine nine is 81 and then it goes in 27 table 27 threes are is 81 and then we have 81 now factors of 16 are very less we have one two four and uh, eight twos are 16 so it goes in a table and then 16 so you can see that there's no there's only one number which is common that is one right one is a common factor so since common factor is one so therefore we can say that 81 and 16 are co-prime so whenever you're finding out the factors here and you understood that there's a no common factor you don't have to find out all the factors you can stop it if you understood that there cannot be any common factor between these two so in case you have any other question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching